Hey guys, what's up? Alex here, and this week we're talking about Girl Scouts and that whole shabacle. Well, um, here's the thing that the thing about the video is I think that the young girl protesting inclusion, <laughs> uh, I just giggle with that because I <laughs> who protests inclusion, but I know people do. I mean, you know, obviously we can see it all throughout history. But uh, it just I mean, it's such a, a silly concept to me. But what's so evident that I just haven't really seen or, or heard much expressed on this is this girl couldn't possibly have these opinions without her parents having these exact opinions. She's just too young to have these formed thoughts of, of fear and exclusion, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'm a little naive to think that that's not a natural thought process, but I do think that she's at a certain level, her parents are encouraging her to relay this message. I mean, they ha had to help her upload the video on YouTube or, I mean, they have to be aware that she's on the internet, right? And for their, I mean, if they continue to allow her to be on the internet, then at a certain point they're endorsing this message and um yeah that's unfortunate um and it kind of needs to be called out where it is which is this is just some parents that were able to convince their kid of a rather unfortunate reality that um that exclusionary and inclusionary practices are something that's taught <laughs> So, anyway, okay, um, that video said I, uh, was never a Girl Scout, I was never a Boy Scout either, I wish I was though, um, I wish I had gotten my Eagle Scout. Girls can go through Boy Scouts, uh, I wasn't really invited because I grew up in rural Utah and scouting was always associated with church activities and I'm not LDS, so I wasn't really invited in those sorts of functions, but... I wish I had taken more of the initiative and gone through Boy Scouts because I, I wanted to do it when I was a kid, um, but I didn't. And then I think after 18 you can't get your eagle. But it, I mean, it looks great on resume and if you think about all the presidents who've had their eagle, um, it's a cool program. I wish I had gone through Boy Scouts. I was never a Girl Scout though. I was a camp counselor for a Girl Scout camp, <laughs> so I had a camp name. I was gyro. <laughs> I'm Greek. So, uh, I mean, it was cool. It was a cool way to spend my summer. There was, it was a lakefront sort of camp. It was brand new the year that I started working. It was, the new facility was, was built. So that was nice for me. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I like kids. I like, uh, outdoors. I'm still friends with one of the other camp counselors. Her name is Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I thought it was a cool program of getting girls self-esteem, building self-esteem, and creating teamwork teamwork scenarios and um, some life skills. It's cool. I thought Scout Scouts is a great idea. Um, yeah, the problem with that that work environment though was they had all the Girl Scout cookies you wanted in the back in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah, a short, the shortbread are my favorite, the, the uh, trefoils. And then, speaking of cookies, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Oh, uh, can you, my voice, uh, my voice, <laughs> I do not know how to work my voice yet, but anyway, I am very excited about these cookies, goddammit. Uh, the Girl Scouts came by my house yesterday and I got four boxes of cookies. So I got uh, the trefoils, of course, the samosas, um, Thin Mints, and then the new one. It's like the Zesty Lemon Cookie. I don't know what it's called, but it looked like a Mexican wedding cookie with some lemon to it, which, doesn't that sound amazing? I love le Mexican wedding cookies, and I love lemon. So I'm so excited about my Girl Scout cookies, you guys. Um, the Scout that was selling them, she was probably eight, and her mom was at the foot of the stairs, which is good. I, I wouldn't let my niece or my daughter go sell the Girl Scout cookies door to door without me there. But, and, and then the mom had like a little baby in her hand. Um, and I could tell the mom couldn't quite peg me 
even because my name Alex could be boy or could be girl and um, I come across as pretty masculine but I also like have hips and like I was just wearing my pajamas and it was clear that I didn't have that I was post-op you know but with hit anyway I could tell the mom was like uh okay and your name Alex <laughs> you know and she, that was like, that isn't even more that doesn't is it is Alex short for anything when I get that question that's are you a boy or a girl are you Alexandria or Alexander that's what that question means um but yeah the mom I had asked the mom how sales were going and because there's a lot of controversy on this right now and she's like well everyone's been really nice and she didn't touch on anything trans related so I didn't either I just bought four four boxes of cookies I can't wait to eat them <laughs> okay bye guys